Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. And today, today I'm taking you back in time to a time where you would come home from school and you would see that Jimmy31428 has uploaded or that you see a Wi-Fi battle from Shofu in your sub box. I know Shofu, Pokemon, nah, he'd, be, he'd be bad with that one probably makes. Or FGG Xerxes or Emperor ZMB, aka MBZ. Whole lot of people. Now the reason I'm saying this is because we are going back in time and we are playing Gen 4 OU today with one of my favorite Gen 4 OU Pokemon and my overall favorite lead of DVP, in my opinion, the best set. And that is 4 attacks, Focus, Sash, Metagross. Why is this set so good? In fact, I honestly don't even think it needs HP. I think you just go max attack, max speed, usually. But, set's great because Explosion is broken. Explosion is broken. Target's defense have during damage. You're doing 500 bait power. Like, where's the damage? It's so crazy, bro. You're like, you meteor mash into explosion on Scar where it dies. For the most part, right? Or it lives on like 2%. If you get a plus one attack, Scar will die from full. Like, just that's how strong explosion is. So, I'm taking it old school today. We're going to play some DP. Obviously, we got DP remakes coming back. Uh, end of this. Well, towards the end of this year, November. Uh, and this is an explosion team for my friend August. You can get on my website, pokeuni.com. But we got, you know, Explosion Metagross, Explosion Reggie Rock, Funmon, a uh, good Dragonite check, I suppose. Uh, we have Choice Scarf, Explosion Azov, also a good Dragonite check. Uh, and another good Dragonite check. Yo! <laughs> we got uh, Akaberry Bronzong over here. And uh, then we have Custat Berry, Magma Storm. This is back when Magma Storm was 120 base power, by the way. Nice and strong. Uh, imagine Magma Storm being 120 base power now. Like, the difference of making damage is insane. Like, the spin of Landers is getting smashed. Uh, and then we have Self Destruct, because Snorlax never got Explosion for whatever reason, but it got Self Destruct. And unfortunately, Pursuit is illegal with Self Destruct, at least at this point. I don't know if it's legal now because of technicalities, but it's illegal back then. But yeah, it should be a lot of fun. We're going to be playing some DP today. It's not going to be a movie, don't worry. You'll, you'll, you'll have at least two movies coming out before. Uh, DP remakes just because I'm feeling in the mood, but I'll pause it until we find a battle guys If you like this type of content, let me know, you know, let me know in a comment All you gotta do is just type it. I don't even care if the comments in English like this just, just go ahead and comment down below if you like DP or you want to see more of this And also if you do enjoy it, leave it a like lets me know as well But yeah, we'll pause it till we find a battle. I'll bear back. So I got my first game now uh, I am 1484 on the ladder. I mean, I have a few DP ults that are higher But I use those to practice stuff because we have DP cup coming up Still debating if I'm enjoying it, but I'm pretty sure I am. Now they have an absolute lead. That is not a lead you might see. I'm assuming they're a focus sash, like sucker punch, ice beam, fire blast type of thing, uh, sewer power, just so they could catch other things off guard. I'm gonna meteor mash uh, because yep, yeah, there's a fire blast that did nothing. They didn't burn me. I feel like, and they are focus sash. Yep. All right, so yeah, we can obviously BP. We live a sucker punch for sure. Yeah, look at that nice HP. Actually, if we didn't have the bulk that August put, we would have died to both of those. So, Starmie comes out. Now, Starmie is a sort of problem, but not really because the boy has a Storlax. I'm going to save that to explode later. Ooh, this is some big damage, dude. Is that Specs? Uh, we're going to Earthquake here because they can't actually hit me, and I thought that maybe a Steel-type might come out, but they end up bringing out Gyarados. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, I'm not as weak to Starmie because everything could explode, so I'm just going to self-destruct here, and this is going to kill even at minus one. Get the hell out of my sight. What am I saying, y'all? That's the boom. That is the boom. Now, a Tyranitar could come out, but I don't think it makes much sense. I think more like an Infernape or anything like that. To be honest, their team is not standard, so it's a little bit hard for me to figure out what they're uh, what they're going for. If they, I hope they bring out Tyranitar. That way my Regirock lives a Hydro Pump from Starmie. Uh, but I'm expecting Starmie to come out, so I went as of here. Uh, I could boom on them, but I think double U-turn is safer. Ooh, that took 22%. That is a... That is big damage. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Explosion from Metagross is close to a KO at that point. Uh, if they don't get Leftovers Recovery here, which I know that's offensive, so this should die. Yep. Because that is just the way Explosion works. Now, uh, I don't want them to bring out something that could deal with my Azelf. Uh, and Bronzong can also deal with this, so we're going to boom. <laughs> that wouldn't have killed <laughs> <laughs> Boom is fine. Now, let's say they bring out a Dragon Dance Tyranitar. We do have the Regirock. We do have Kuznab Berry. Honestly, I feel like this person definitely has a Dragonite, especially if they have the Bronze on Gyarados core. Uh, we're just going to go as off. As they bring out a Bomba Snow. Ooh. Uh, will you turn out into Heatran? This is actually a little bit obvious, so I wonder if they predict this and go for like an Earthquake or something. But I feel like the way it's been going, they'll definitely Blizzard here. Nice. Now, they're a Life Orb. 
if their last is a Jirachi, it can be a problem. I do have Thunder Wave and I do have Earthquake, though. But I don't want them flinching me to death, so I'm actually going to make the Azelf play once more. Uh, I don't think... I don't think my opponent would go for uh, another Blizzard. They they may. They may. I think an Earthquake might come out, though. It's Life Orb, though, not Expert Belt. Expert Belt usually ran, like, HP, Fire, and things like that, too. Battle Timer is not turned off. Well, thank you. Unless they're, they're, they turn it off for themselves. Yeah. Oh, 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 they turn it off for themselves. What the hell you think you're doing, bro? No, we playing this game. We are playing this game. Uh, Bronzong would obviously be really cool here. But, like, I mean, like I said, once you do, like, 22% to Bronzong, like, so Meteor Mash for Metagross does about, like, 23, 28. Actually, I can get you the exact calc right now. Uh, I think it's between 23 to 28% to offensive Bronzong. Bronzong. Oh, yo, right on the money. 23 to 28%. So Explosion does kill after. It's so cool. Um, even if they Blizzard again, I think it's fine. I, I think, I'm pretty sure Azov dies, though. There's no way I live. Eh, 291, maybe. Did you really just turn off the timer so you could leave? Are you losing here? I guess... No, if they have Infernape, they cannot kill. They, there's, there's, there's no way. I'm sorry, you will not kill me. Ah, there's the Infernape lead. So this is great. Uh, they could be fake out, but I mean, I don't care. I'm going to click Earthquake anyway. Uh, unfortunately, they were fake out, which means that they do have uh, Overheat as an option. Uh... Pretty sure Reggie Rock lives. <laughs> you wild for going that. How much points you have? Oh, you had a lot of points. So, I live this easy. <laughs> you know, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> and the great thing about DVP is I ain't about to miss. Um, I'm for sure keeping this thing alive, though. But they are, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Also, the great thing about DVP and things like that is I do have a lumbar. I'm not cut step on this one. Uh, we're just going to earthquake again. They could have been vacuuming, but they were definitely overheat. Like, Get the hell out of here. I don't like that I let this mon go down so early, to be fair, but I think it's fine. Uh, especially because I can save it as fodder. Bring out Lax and just go for Earthquake here. If they do bring out Bronzong, it's fine. This is exact see, this is the type of play I expect. Like something a normal resist, right? Uh, so we get some big damage. Big, big, big damage off on the uh, Tyranitar there. I'm gonna sack Reggie Rock. I didn't think they pursue considering I threatened them with a two at KO. As they go for super power, and that should be a pretty safe Metagross here. I should be able to live every hit, and I'll go right for an Earthquake instead of a Meteor Mash. They go Bronze on Bronze on. Why do you only have fat mobs? <laughs> Don't talk about them that way. They try their best. I wish I had Trick Room on this Bronze on over Stealth Rock. I'm about to put Trick Room over Stealth Rock. I'm about to put Trick Room over Stealth Rock. I'm gonna use my Custom Berry to my advantage here. I had a feeling it's Spectral Life Orb, so there's a nice little cuss out right now. Let's go ahead and explode with Heatran. Oh my god, it's so good to use it. The Gengar and Heatran being able to like, kill mods easily because of those explosions are so fire. How much did Earthquake do? 41. I think I can go Starmie here. I'm fairly confident this kills. Yep. Beautiful. We'll bring out Metagross since that should not be able to die to that. And also, getting rid of uh, uh, Zapdos. And an Inferno, the only mons that they have left that can deal with Metagross, if they even have them, because I don't think you have Heatran on that team, uh, would be, yep, exactly, uh, a Flygon, which, potential on this team as well. Uh, we just bullet punch twice, because if they are Life Orb, they will not knock me out, and they will put themselves in range of my U-turns. <clears throat> so, a little bit unfortunate that I got crit there, because, <clears throat> shoot, sorry guys. Uh, because crits do double the damage, obviously, so that's pretty pretty annoying uh, in the back. I had to Ice Punch there. I'm pretty sure it's Dragonite in the back as well. Or Empoleon, holy crap. Okay, uh... Swords Dance. Whoa. Shoot, that's a problem. I might have just lost. So I got, I, I think I lost it because I, I got crit on my Mon. Uh, because they wouldn't be able to KO me, I can bullet punch, bullet punch into the explosion. But Aqua Jet's definitely going to be able to KO me here. Which is a damn shame. 34%. Waterfall definitely kills. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I should just U-turn on Gengar. And then let Sand deal with them as I bring out my, uh, my Snorlax. So that was a, a misplay on my part. But if they didn't crit my Metagross with Shadow Ball, I wouldn't have been 2 KO. Because again, it's not 1.5 times, it's 2 times in this generation. 
and I would have been fine. But it's good to uh, think of it. Aerodactyl, there's no way they actually even taunt me. Do people still taunt with Aerodactyl? I'm going to Bullet Punch anyway, because Bullet Punch twice is always the best play. And they were Power Herb, so my bad, bro. They were Power Herb type of set. Scizor, wow, you're annoying. Not anymore. 89%, baby. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave a, you got to leave a like for the explosion. That's, I love this, man. I really feel like the... Uh, I feel like this should be offensive trick room. So I have more of an out instead of stealth rock. But I understand why it's stealth rock. No, no, we're double stealth rock on the team. Forget that. I'm going trick room. Just so I have an end game of like Storlax and stuff like that too. I'm going trick room. I think trick room is way better. I understand why you have double stealth rock. <clears throat> especially when Starmie like does its thing. But no, 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 no. Not today. Not today. We're going the, uh, because I'm barely going to have the opportunities to click rocks anyway. And Heatran's going to be doing his thing with the Custap Berry. I actually want to go Custap Berry on Regirock as well. Uh, but I understand why we are, why with the set we are. Basically, Lum uh, is good so we can catch Rotoms and stuff like that. I mean, it's DBP as well. Braylon wanted to Spore. We can explode on that too, which makes sense. That's about it. Those are this Sleep Powder, uh, Rose Raid as well, Under Sand, which won't Leaf Storm me. That's that's basically it. But this is Explosion, the, the video, right? This is Explosion, the video. Uh, so I guess we'll pause it once again so we find again because these games take a while. I'm sad I dropped the game, but... Uh, and I, I, I think I should have... If Did you turn always kill? There's no way you turn kill Gengar. But if it did with Sam... Was Sam up? Sam was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, they were 19, so it didn't even with Sam. So yeah, I, as long as I wasn't crit, I was good. I'll play this one differently. I'm just going to Earthquake again. I don't care if they overheat. Go ahead over here. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You're not going to play the same way twice versus me. And I'm going to keep my Metagross this time. So, awesome. Especially if you're just going to get a... I don't have Spinner on my team. And, I'm, you know, I'm willing to do this. And this, this is the GOAT. This is one of the greatest mods of all time. All right. So... They could Heat Wave, even though Specs Thunderbolt is broken. Last time I messed you up because I got cussed out, so I'm getting up rocks here. You didn't even care, but I'm getting up rocks for the Inferno, which is good because it's actually a giant threat to my team. Uh, and then we can just bring out Reggie Rock here and just click Stone Edge and kill the uh, Zapdos. Damn, man, this is why double cussed out would be great. Yo, Specs, that's modest, too. <laughs> that's doing some damage. <laughs> We're going to boom here. If they try and spin, I take those. Thank you very much. Uh, Was this the Gengar, dude? I don't remember. But Metagross is hella safe. This was the Gengar, dude. Just Meteor Mash here. You do not crit me, as you see. And you can go ahead and die. Awesome. U-turn still kills Inferno, so I don't got to worry about that either. Just going to BP for some chip. BP again. Can't Dragon Ants, can't do crap. They could be random cussed app, though. Oh, this is the Empoleon, dude, right? Was this the person I just played? Like, literally? Just Gyro Ball. This was Mr. Empoleon. Even if you're Shuka, who cares? Bro, you ain't killing me. I don't I don't care. I'm a bronze all. Yeah, even in Torrent, bro. I do not care. And then Inferno dies to Sam. Did we just play this person back to back? Hey, 1500. Not bad. But yeah, Trick Room definitely better. Uh, in this round. I can't believe they did that, what they did with their Zapdos. I cannot believe that. Like, I just, I, it was only a game and a half ago, right? I, I swear, I, there was like one or two games in between. But it was only like, it was not, it, it was it was like five minutes ago we played. So I went for rocks again, because if they were going to sack Infernape right there, I'd rather get up rocks so Zapdos is lower to the point where I can Ice Punch um, and deal with that. Empoleon is actually a little bit of a threat. Like, a Suicune wouldn't be as much of a threat because we just boom on it. But Empoleon, that specific Empoleon set, by the way, uh, special Empoleon would be annoying, but it wouldn't have Aqua Jet priority to be able to deal with something like Azelf or anything like that. Maybe the better play was to boom there and then to go Snowlax as well. Just because, I mean, I know you guys see resistances, you're like, well, that's a resistance, man. That mod's going to take everything. But look how much Explosion does. Like, compared to Earth, it's stronger than Earthquake. <laughs> like, I just want you guys to know. I want you guys, I want this to drill this in your head that this move is broken in every generation before Generation 5. So, we're going to pause it.
We are back. Back versus the my second favorite DUP lead, and also I think the second best. I think Metagross is the best. I think Empoleon is the second best, uh, which is most likely Focus Sash and Empoleon. Ooh, and they're very fast. That's awesome because uh, while they can Aqua Jet here to break my Sash if they scout for a Sash, um, I should be good. They may double to a T-Tar here. Yeah. I'm going to Earth Power. Just think, I, I would rather not rocks and be outspent, but this is definitely faster than me, for sure. If they, if they went down to their Sash because of that, they were definitely faster than me. So, uh, Earth Power there was just smarter overall. They would go in Polion. Uh, you probably see a Water Type or an Infernape coming out right now. Rotom Fan is not something you usually see. It is Ghost Type, though. Remember, it is Ghost Type, so... Oh. We'll die. <laughs> if this lands... Woo! They're dead. That's awesome. So now I can explode. And I'm closer and closer to cussed out. This is why sometimes it's not important to get up rocks. Alright? Rocks are great, but it's not always important. Uh, probably flag on as well. I mean, they're charge beams, so I'm assuming maybe a rose raid on this type of team. Like, something with T-Spike. But then again, they're not sub-charge beam. They're will charge beam. So, I have no idea what to expect. They might have just, you know, just spun the, the damn wheel on this. Earthquake. Scizor could be annoying. I would go Tyranitar. A uh, Bronzong, excuse me. I think Earthquake or Super Power could come out. I'm gonna get a Trick Room initially. Uh, if they do go for a Fire move here, that's fine. But we're just getting a Trick Room just so we could try and, you know, boss through them with uh, Snorlax and stuff. That Snorlax killing that, <laughs> that Gyarados at minus one was so fire. Man, I really hope when they make their true copy that the wi-fi battling is good and that i can explode on people and have this 500 base power explosion but even 250 base power explosion is still good i think i think people like don't see it killing killing like it did before <clears throat> sorry my throw is just like i don't, I don't feel like getting anything right now i got some g fuel right here but i don't got no water to put it on so sorry puka she's snapping on me i don't want her to get up she just like shook a little because of that Awesome. So we're Earthquake here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for making my Gyro Ball better. Uh, of course, they can Earthquake as well, though. I'm just going to explode because I should kill. Yes, sir. And then we bring out Young Metagross. Ooh. Ooh, they definitely got a flag on in the back, too. Why, why, are you, why are you wearing Trick Iron Ball if you don't have something to abuse it? So, flag on or Choice Band Dragonite or anything like that. Uh, hey, much love, fam. Hold on. Should still work. And my boys hit me up and asked if I still got a Dr. Squatch code. I'm pretty sure code Poke Game still works, so. Shout out to Getlo. Great dude. Always supporting. You know. Literally, not a bad play to ever click Explosion on something that can beat everything else. I do not care if you double. Who the hell cares? I do I severely doubt this is cussed app. I severely doubt this is cussed app, but just in case, uh, this is probably the safest play I can make. I'm gonna earthquake instead of stone edging just so I don't miss. Gyarados can't knock me out, so I can boom on that as well. Uh, they could be cussed app though, don't get me wrong. I think as long as I have Azzo from the back, I'm good, because I'm fairly confident that Flygon's coming out after. Or they have something like that. I guess Dragonance Gyarados makes sense too for Rotom variants, so you can Earthquake them. But Waterfall also still does a lot, and you die. So, <laughs> shout out to Clear Body. <laughs> Good be! Uh, either Dragonite or Flygon. It has to be. I, I, if you're a random Lucario, why would you run Trick Iron, uh, Iron Ball? Dude, you want to be able to Earthquake. Oh, GG. Oh, you're not showing me your last. Oh, and you hit the replay. Okay. No one will ever see this, don't worry. I promise. Me and my subs will never tell a soul. Uh, much love, fam. Big get low. But yeah, so uh, Red Rock really cool. I think they waterfall, it didn't matter. They had to flinch me because they were not killing me. I mean, you saw how little Red Rock took from the close combat from Inferno, right? That's 120 base power. That's 120 base power stab move, right? I hate. Less than half. <laughs> I got HP investment, that's about it. But uh, hopefully we can keep finding him. This is why I can't do DVP movies like on the whim. I have to 
like on like obviously right now um, you see there's a wait time in between the games, but I got to hit up a friend who's willing to spend an hour or two to play me, which when you play DMV versus a friend, it usually goes like that anyway. I, I feel like you can't just play like three games of DMP, especially if you both like the tier. Or if, you know, let's say I won 3-0, you're not going to leave after that. Right? You got to keep playing. But I'll find somebody that wants to play, and then I'll play a whole bunch of games. Again, big shout to August for this team. If you guys want it, turn on my website. And if you guys are enjoying this video, feel free to subscribe, man. I, I, I'm all the way to 262,000 subscribers. I'm actually only a couple hundred away. I think like two, 300 subs away. 262,000. Oh, sorry, Puka. One second. Just like, she's so patient with me. I'm gonna feed her after this. She had a great day yesterday. She hung out with uh, her cousins, and uh, yeah, she was she just had a good time. So Dragonite is a lead that could be Life Orb, could be Dragonite, could be Bandit. Bandit is one of my favorite leads of all time. But during the old meta game, now I'm gonna tell you something because I'm gonna click Meteor Mash here and a Bullet Punch. Uh, depending on the Dragonite, it might not kill. Also, depending on the Dragonite. Um, if they're Life Orb, Fire Blast. If I'm faster, uh, I'm faster than them. Period. Right. Because extreme speed isn't plus priority. So basically if they're life warp, uh, I will 2 a KO them. However, every situation, and I have no idea why, but every situation for the past year, and I played uh, I played Showdown. And I'm, I'm going to click Meteor Mash. I just want to say that I got burnt by Fire Blast 13 out of 13 times. So I'm going to Meteor Mash here and see what's up. But I've been burnt 13 out of 13 times. I expect like Tyranitar, Rotom type of squad. Uh, it's kind of weird because like I played a lot of old school DVP and they played you know, during some of the changes uh, But right now people are still innovating and still trying new things as well Like this team isn't the team I would normally use I might use it for fun in a tournament because why not? I mean look how fun it is you can get some quick wins you can get some quick losses uh, I don't know how it fares versus stall uh, but Metagross Meteor Mash if it gets plus one it can kill oh and the Dragon Dance lead. Okay, cool So again, this is something they could do uh, This is ugh. I forgot, this is back when it was 100 base power. So, uh, not the 90 crap it is today. Bullet Punch doesn't kill usually after, unless they take some chip. I'm just thinking if I have to risk it. Offensive Dragon Dance, yeah, 23 or 28%. I'll risk it, I got Azelf in the back. Uh, maybe they could have been Life Orb too, which is something I didn't account for, but luckily we landed. Uh, I also like Custab Berry and Lumberry, Metagross, and Aka Berry, but Focus Ash is just the best one because even though M Machamp leading isn't as common as it was at one point in DVP, right? Where people uh, started like running counter leads for it. Just gonna explode. The main reason I exploded there is because if they. Uh, oh, this is. Oh, you definitely have a fly on. The uh, main reason I exploded there is because if they uh, ran. What's it called? Magnet Rise. Then that'd be a, annoying for me. I'm gonna get up rocks here because I'm, I'm expecting like fly on and stuff like that too. Uh, they could also be endure. I wonder how you talk, take this. Um, oh, that's perfect. Uh, unfortunately, just I, I took a little bit too much, more than I wanted, but that's perfect because it opens up bronze on a lot more. Shoot, this might even be Lucario as well. Like Dragonite, think same thing. Starmie, fly on. Might even see another random Gyarados. But this is good too because if they do have rocks and they get them up, I'll be in custap range. So. Gengar coming out now is wild, bro. The Shadow Ball definitely don't knock me out. Alright, we're gonna go Azelf here. On the Focus Blast, there's Life Orb. I am faster than them, and I could click Psychic, so I'm gonna U-turn just in case. Uh, they, exactly, just in case they bring out Tyranitar. And this is a situation where if I click Trick Room here, I probably just win. They can't knock me out. I'm uh, Bandit Crunch is going to do a lot, but doesn't knock me out. And they're out of range of Custap. So I click Trick Room here. They could have Bronze on of their own, but that doesn't matter. Yep. That shouldn't matter because I just Gyro Ball here into Explosion as well. Or I do no type of damage as well. Oh, they get the rocks. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Huh. I still Gyro Ball. We want as much chip as possible so that I can knock them out with explosion. And we don't want any of these mods coming in in the back. I know that fly. I'm about to ice punch sweet though. About to reset this trick room for my homie young Snorlax. Alright, that's all I needed. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that right now, right now, right now. 
Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I have to go Regirock here because otherwise Explosion would obviously kill a Pokemon. Uh, not, luckily, Regirock nets two kills. And there's a cut snap. Yep. Well, I lied. It gets... Oh, I lied, lied. <laughs> I super lied. Uh, that Ice Punch still looking hella good, though, in the back. So don't worry. And I still got my own cut snap in the back, too. That sucks, man. I, I missed that because I would have definitely gotten two kills. Um... I'm going to evade this if I can, because it's definitely Shadow Ball. I'm just going to crunch here. I'll live a Focus Blast. Would have been great if they miss, but at least Gengar is gone. They don't take enough damage, which is unfortunate. So I go you and click U-turn. Um, I know this is cussed at for sure. Ah, doesn't matter though. Like, I mean, if they switched out. I forgot if it's under 30 or if it's more. Ah! Damn it, man, that crit sucked. And that missing sucked because uh, Regirock would have been uh, healthy enough to take on, like, everything. Damn, man. Right, I'm going to trick them just in case they, they throw. I dodged. It's time to DP tie. Yeah, good game, man. Uh, so yeah, missing Stone Edge was so whack. Uh, I I hella won if I hit it. Uh, because I had another Trick Room turn left, which meant I guaranteed another kill. And it also guaranteed that my Reggie was out of range of whatever attack they went for after. So this is another... Ah, man. A little bit unlucky for me today. It's cool. I don't remember what they had. Oh yeah, I was a fan. Will-O-Wisp. I'm gonna assume that they know I'm gonna, oh, that I could switch. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Uh, we're just gonna Magma Storm again as they go Tyranitar. I know they're a sewer power very I want Empoleon dead. I want Empoleon dead. As they crunch there too, which is cool because I get earth power damage off as well. And they're minus one. So we go you. I just bullet punch safely. They're gonna sack Empoleon, so I'm not gonna bother doing anything else, you know. I just want to make sure Empoleon's dead, yeah. So great. So that's good. And Tyranitar's low for U-turn. Uh Rotom isn't a threat. Like it is, but it isn't, you know. Them burning me is whatever. I'm just gonna get my damage off. I'll get my damage off. They can't sub here. And they do no type of damage to me. Like, if, if this is their only way of doing damage, basically, they couldn't. Like, they had to have Thunderbolt there. Ooh, I get a lucky crit. Obviously, I dodged and crit as well, but I get a lucky crit there. We're gonna go Regirock because I'm worried about this mod. Uh, in the back with Custap, and they are the Iron Ball set. So we can bring out Bronze on here. It doesn't matter if I got Iron Ball there. Obviously, they can't Earthquake me here. Trick Room. It's a guaranteed little Trick Room over there. Metagross gone. We're opening up the door for everything right now. Even if they're Custap on Tyranitar, that doesn't matter either. I'm going to Gyro Ball, though, because you shouldn't let me explode on you. Yep. I didn't have to make that call, but I felt like it. So we get rid of that. I boom no matter what now, and then we win. They're probably going to say good game again, hide the replay, and leave. <laughs> good game. I forgot to hide the replay. I'm, I'm waiting here until you hide. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love DV, man. <laughs> oh, man. They've been, we could have been undefeated so far. Then again, I've also got like luck uh, as well. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I see it too. But like mine is like, it's not game winning luck. Right? It puts me in a better position. But there is like game winning luck. But it's whatever. It happens to both. And it's Pokemon. I play it every single day. So obviously it's going to happen to me. It's not like I'm doing a road top 10 in DVP.
That sounds very fun, by the way, to do a road top 10 ADP. I've been, uh, I've been top 10, I think, four times this year in DVP. Again, it's never recorded because I'm just practicing and testing teams out on different alts. I actually use, like, so I have, like, 10 different alts. Right? Let's say, let's say 10. And I have, like, one alt that I use one team specifically. And I have another alt that I use one team specifically. And that's it. That's just the, uh, the way to do it. Um, the reason I'm doing it like that is because I want to get so good and so comfortable with that team, no matter what the matchup is, that, uh, oh. You're challenging me to another battle? Wait. Why do you want to play a third? Fight me on the ladder, base site. Let me unblock. Let me unblock, uh, unblock PMs. What's up? It needs to be sent to a user or room. Are you kidding me? Bro, it was base site. Like, so annoying. What's up? Why, 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 what are you hitting me about? You want a rematch? How many times are we gonna play, bro? Oh, sorry, I keep moving my arm. I'm just lightly tapping here, it's not a lot, but let's play same teams again. I can't. We... I'm uh, I'm ladder, I'm ladder. -y. At the moment, I want to see what happens if I do something differently. <laughs> if you're down for it, fine. Fine. Let's go. Alright, let's see what happens. It's fine. I was going to say find me on the ladder, but whatever. I just want to play DVD. I don't care if I lose anyway. What was our team? Gyarados, Metagross with the Iron Ball. Rotom with the charge beam, Willow Wisp set. I challenged. Uh, I'd never know what their last is. <laughs> Tarantar. Did you get my challenge, base Scythe? You know, your name reminds me of uh, Scythe the King, who I used to get a lot of rem uh, rem remixes from that were so cool. And Rotom. Rotom F, Wisp Charge Beam, crap. They're probably gonna switch to it right now. Gera, Meta, Titar, we never know what their last is. I know they're not gonna, I knew they were gonna do that. I've had enough of this, I'm going hard each round. I'm about to win this game right here, right now. <laughs> I really don't have to make that play, so I'm just gonna do this. They charge beam up first or they double to Empoleon. Those are the only two plays you make here. Uh, so if I go for Magma Storm, I'll live another I'll live another one. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go for rocks. Because they may go to Rantar first. Perfect. So we got that play right. Great Titar comes out. And I have a Reggie Rock right here that's ready to eat up every hit. Just gonna click Earthquake here because I'm assuming they're gonna sack Napoleon, but just in case they went Metagross, I wanted to get more damage off on it. Obviously. So this is great. Uh, they got damage off on my Metagross, which is smart on them. And what if that Waterfall from Gyarados on KO? I haven't even shown them Scarf as of, I feel. I've only gotten like... The Stealth Rock chip on Tarantara is awesome for U-Turn as well. That Super Power did a good chunk. I know it's not Choice Band, but... Yeah, they did nothing. But 43 to 54. Hey, you might not kill me, dude. Uh, they unfortunately did get the roll. But it's cool. Get some damage now with Meteor Mash. Off. And they got two high rolls on me. I wish I got that versus EO with my Earthquakes. Uh, but if I got rid of uh, Tyrantar there, it would have been great. But it's cool. Basically, I either Meteor Mash here and I get a lot of damage off on Rotom. Or they go Gyarados and I have Sand and Rocks up. It's really interesting. Is their last... Like, why don't they have a Starmie with Gara if they're running Sam plus that? Like, I know it's really offensive, but still. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, I'm trying to KO their Rotom. That way I can smack them with Trick Room. And I'm assuming that Base Scythe is playing in a way that they, uh... That they are preserving it. So, we'll see. We'll see right now. There's Rotom. Ooh, big Domish! Charging still can't KO me. I'm gonna meteor bash again. As they try and charge beam right. Let's see if I land. As they try and charge beam right into that Heatran. So again, this is the mod I wanted to get rid of because it opens up uh, Bronzong enough for me. 
especially in polio. Like, all the, getting rid of the gyro bar resist, but like the good gyro bar resist as well, just makes too much sense. They still don't know I have a custom berry. If they go Tyranitar, I will get some chip with this plus one bullet punch. So I don't gotta miss. I think they have to go Gyarados out of everything they showed me, because their Metagross is Iron Ball. I think they have to go Gyarados. Which is exactly what I want them to do, you know? I want that chip. Because the Stealth Rock, oh, yep, there it is. Gonna Bullet Punch for Chip. As you waterfall there, as you should. We'll go Brawlzong and trick him up. I gotta be careful though because um, uh, that. Well, I was more worried about that in the late game, but uh, this Tyranitar is looking very threatening now that that happened. So I gotta be very careful about that. Alright, I didn't want to boom there, but I have to. I'll bring out Snowlax. Because I have to get Chip on them, and I have to try not to lose the Metagross. I'm pretty sure I can beat Metagross with Heatran. But I have to go this. So we Earthquake here. They may boom. Actually, they should boom. As they Meteor Mesh. Another medium mash and a boom does it as well. <sighs> Damn, man. That freaking flinch, bro. GG. The flinch stopped me from <laughs> smacking. <laughs> ah, whatever. The flinch hurt because I like was big. Because I basically the plan was to switch out to Snorlax thereafter. But they're still slower than me, so I can probably crit them. I can try and crit them. Was big. But it is life. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I've also dodged a million things, I think. They were smart, though. I'm glad. Did you gyro? I trick ruined. So then I could switch and be healthy enough to take on Tutar. But I obviously got flinched. Uh, so I had to trick him again from that position. Interesting. <laughs> Crit. Alright, go ahead and crit the T-Tar right now, a U-turn. Good game, man. <laughs> Just to get flinched by Gyarados. Yeah, like I said, I had to be careful because I could still lose to... Uh, I could still lose to uh, Tyranitar if I let Bronzon take too much damage, but I didn't have an out versus that Mon because of what happened. So, uh, we always run through here, nothing to fear. I have Focus Ash. This could be Specs, could be Magnastorm, I don't give a damn. As of the day, Hydra Pump versus Lead Gross. Fail. You know what? It's it's cool. Let's completely take it. Completely take it. I, I don't think you won that game without the flinch on my Brawzog, but completely. Oh, that sucks too, because that was definitely Specs or Life Orb. And obviously I keep my uh I keep my sash so I can I basically get a two for one deal with this, right? Ah, oh, Heatwave always burns in this generation too. Legitimately always. Now the good thing is I can go Regirock and click Thunder Wave here. It's really safe. Um, you don't matter to me, but I want to get rid of you as well. You can Thunder Wave Electro types in this, which is why I said you could do that. And this is cool too because I get a nice little Magma Storm off. All right, attempt two. All right, rocks up so Starmie is low. Then I think we go as off and trick something immediately. I just, I just don't want that. Damn, I don't care if they thunder wave. Yeah, I'm a trick. I'm a trick. This as they thunder wave into me, which is good. <laughs> Bro, I played the game. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Uh, will you turn here? Should have ice punched. Oh, I can explode now, so it doesn't matter. Perfect. They can't kill me in one hit. And basically, I want to get rid of that mod because look at me trick room, clicking trick room. 
Like the game I just played because the Zato's lead wasn't a weak weekend, it kinda messed up my team during the later game. <laughs> Why are you keep concealing your last? Makes sense. So you don't I might as well they're really nice guys. <laughs> we stop being Hey man, stop that. Stop that. To be fair, it shouldn't be this low anyway, but luckily they give me Zapdos. Just gonna self destruct. <laughs> like, I, I don't have to. This might be Dragonite in the back anyway. Um, actually, with this, no. Nice! Alright, well, that's the game. <laughs> that should be game. We just go out to Heat right here. One twenty two ninety speed. Yeah, actually, I had four attacks on Willumberry because I need Sash. Always. Always. <laughs> their Shadow Ball is their only move. That's a damn shame. You're going to include this Gyro Ball and see how much we do. 31? Okay. Nice little 31. Sack you here. Reset my trick room real quick. Just like a guarantee win versus Jirachi. <laughs> no. No. Yeah! Alright, just gotta break through one of these. So I can get the earth power off, and the second one is to cuss that barrier earth power. So, okay, cool, we win. We win guaranteed. Even if they flinch me down, I get the cuss tap, so. Ooh, they're gonna flinch me right into cuss tap, which is awesome. And now I'm in cuss tap. Good game. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, how much time we got? Twenty-seven minutes in this one, or the other two? Like fourteen minutes combined? Fifteen minutes combined. That's a good place to end it. A nice little winner over there. Should I try for one more? I can try for one more. Maybe I'll play this guy again. I'll keep my DMs open just because them actually wanting to improve is is different. I thought they were just like talking crap to spite me, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I just put a smiley face. But them actually like processing it is awesome. Let me actually DM them one more thing. Base site. You thought of sub on your Rotom? Like sub willowish charge beam type of thing? So you can abuse the steals. Burnt. I thought it was uh, sub immediately when I saw charging, but then they, they will always me, so. Um, obviously, you have sand, so you want to be careful about that, but. Yeah, just, just want to see their thoughts on that, I guess. Uh, but, uh, I suppose I'll pause it until we find another battle, or I just, you know, maybe I'll just end it on that. That's a good note to end. But I want to boom! Boom! Alright, so I'll pause it until we find one more battle. We'll be right back. Alright, last game of the night is a freaking hard one because it's Rose Raid. I'm just gonna Earthquake, pray I dodge a Sleep Powder, or pray I wake up. Sleep Powder is the worst move in the game, man. Uh, but hopefully I get a, uh, a wake up and uh, basically <laughs> DP sleeps. Every sleep turn is so broken up until current sleep turns. It's so broken. But the game plan is uh, I, I would usually bullet punch first. It depends on uh, how comfortable I felt my team. Like I don't think about T spike are obviously too detrimental for me, but if there's and they can't be spike plus sleep powder because that's a legal combination in Gen Four. Put more targeting to not get the electric move used during sleep going to waste. I feel that. All right, that's cool. So there is the hidden power. It's hidden power fire or ground. We're gonna go Azelf here. They shouldn't leaf storm. 
and it is hidden power ground, which is good to know. It can U turn out. Uh, <laughs> yo, I'm catching everything from this thing, man. And there's a T spike there. I'm gonna just poison point coming in. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go for the trick room early. Now, obviously, this team isn't a trick room design team, but I mean, it has some great members. What if they have Raiko, like, sub Rotom type of stuff? Facts. Oh, yeah, we've been talking. She gets messed up too. Most of them only got two side sauce, but I think that I'll switch to Rotom Heat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fire moves usually stronger. And this meta flying isn't the strongest thing. I don't want them to double, and I'd rather get in Regirock here early, and then I can trick them up safely. Like, don't you dare. I don't care if they go Braylon, I don't, I, don't, I don't think they have Braylon, excuse me. Pert, sure. Pert, for sure. Yeah. Let's get this third out of here. Let's get this third out of here. 100% get this third out of here. Perfect. So, Akaberry, I eat. You want to go out something that can beat this, these guys. So, I'm, I'm going to go Heat Train. Uh, it's really strong versus Aptos, obviously. Good play. We're going to double the Bronze all here. On the Earth Power. I'm just going to Earthquake. Actually, I'm going to trick him because I'll live every hit. Oof. Tough turn, tough turn, tough turn. Actually, no, it's not. I just go Metagross. Because if they SD, who cares? I get in Heat Train after. And they are faster, slower than me on their Trick Room. So uh, that's a damn shame. Uh, because this end game is going to be a little bit rough. It's going to be a little bit rough. I explode here, though. Because they're minus one. I hope they stay with Scizor. Uh, but to be honest, Zapdos going to come in would be good, too. I think it's going to be a little rough. I would assume you have a Rotom form in the back as well. Oh, maybe not. Actually, I can Gyro Ball. I can afford to Gyro Ball once. As it's Starmie in the back. My Heatran still goes crazy. My Heatran still goes crazy. It will be faster than that. And I can beat both of these guys too. So I'm going to explode here. I, I go you as well. And I U-turn. Uh, what should be their what should be their heat train coming in I bring out you and I click earthquake if they boom that's fine too Let's see what power here right my trick I don't like trick though because if they go heat train I, I lose something out of the turn I'm gonna turn again They have SD or super powered. I'm risking Heatran though. I don't care. I'm going to Magma Storm and land. Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Land one more. One more is all I need. Thank you. Awesome. 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 So, oh, this endgame is going to be close. I do not like. Actually, is it going to be close? This is definitely choice Heatran. Like, this is Scarf. I'm gonna boom here. If they super power a double, it's better for me, and I can safely bring out. Uh, and that's my friends. That my friends is why boom is broken. That my friends is why boom is broken. All I gotta do is let's say it's not Scarfy Trend. All I gotta do is go Azov, and I click Trick. <laughs> I click Trick. That way they will be locked into a fire move if they if they can. That way there's no speed tie or anything. As they do, well, they click the fire move anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can't switch up moves. It's not like current. It's not like current, so you can't actually switch up moves. Uh, the game, like he didn't choke, he could not. Current, obviously, if you get tricked the choice move, you can. I, I'm pretty sure you can switch up moves, but uh, in that you couldn't. But holy crap, man! You see Scizor die. Anyway, 
I'll be talking to this person for a little bit, but I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. We'll be back with some DPP for sure, and that's it. Later, guys. Peace.